Yo guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm actually going to be showing you a Crystal Isles rat hole. Um, now this rat hole is OP. Uh, now you've probably already seen this because it has been quite out for quite a while, um, but I'm just uploading it here now. Uh, and that's the location of the map, and um, as you've seen the coordinates a minute ago. And um, it's actually at the entrance of this cave. So what you are going to want to do is follow the route I actually take. So what you're going to want to do is actually go through this cave, as you can see here. Uh, and then once you're actually through here, turn right, and then carry on going right, and you'll see like this pillar type thing, as you've seen there. That pillar type thing then go straight from here and um, turn left a tiny bit and you should actually come up to these ruins as you can see here in the gameplay once you come up to these ruins carry on going through them go for that little archway and carry on just going straight forward from the archway and um, you'll then be led into this room as you can see here it's got like odd little mushrooms in and uh, stuff like that and the vines so from this when you're in, when you are in this room take a left and then this is when you're actually at the um, location as you can see this is the location there where the rat hole is um, now these are the coordinates 45.2 and 74.7 and uh, this is the location of the map uh, now from where I'm standing here you can actually not see where the rat hole is whatsoever um, so I've actually marked it out with the foundations as you can see here and uh, this is the entrance right there uh, now to actually get into this hole you are going to need a pelagonis um, so the best thing to do is actually come out of the hole make sure you go crouched and when you are in crouched uh, that's when you can throw the pelagonis in I'm just going to cut it here and then get back to you guys once I've got everything ready so I'm back again now as you can see I've actually got the uh, cryopodded pelagonis and what you are going to want to do is just go prone as you can see here and crawl all the way in through the cave make sure you are hugging the left wall um, so you can actually get it in uh, now this did take me a couple of attempts so the first probably minute of this clip here um, don't pay attention to what I was doing because I did it on the wrong wall what you meant to do is actually throw the cryopod um, to the left side of to the left wall and to the right wall um, because yeah I got this method wrong so this bit is where you do it wrong so what you are going to want to aim for is the left wall as you can see or in the middle anywhere now if you are doing it on the left wall or in the middle and you're still obviously getting the problem just move back a tiny bit and make sure you are against the left wall and um, you should actually get it right as you'll see here in the gameplay now that's a couple more attempts of actually moving back um, it does help a lot so if you are too close it might struggle you might struggle getting it um, but obviously if you do move back a bit then it is going to help you a lot as well as you see in the gameplay in a minute um, so yeah it might take you a couple of attempts as you can see here to actually get this um, cryopodded tame out uh, and obviously because it says it can't fit you don't need to worry about a frozen the uh, cryo sickness time or anything like that um, so you can just keep trying this until you do get it um, but like I say, the tips I can give you is move back a little bit and make sure you are throwing it either to the left side of the wall or in the middle. Uh, I did it wrong as you can see in the gameplay then at the right side, as you can see there. Um, you, there's also a chance you can actually get it on the right side as well if you do manage to bounce off the corner that I was trying. Um, but the best method is go to the left wall as you can see there and just keep throwing it around. Uh, if it just go through, just keep moving a tiny bit and see if you can actually get it to um, obviously come out. Uh, as you can see in a couple more attempts but this is when it did work as you can see there uh, once you actually got it through the hole what you are going to do is whistle follow all and what you're going to want to do is actually move away from the hole and walk all the way back until the pelagonis has come through the hole so you can ride it as you can see there i didn't go further enough so what you are going to want to do is just go to like the kind of the back wall of here uh, and then run straight back through and you should see that it will be then poking through um, and as you can see there, once you get into the correct spot, you'll be able to ride the um, team. Once you've rode the team, what you are going to do is just turn around. And um, you might get stuck in this little hole where I did. So if this does happen, just keep looking around and moving around until you do become loose, as you can see there. Um, but yeah, so this is a rat hole. It's pretty OP, as you can see there. Um, because of the only method of actually doing this to actually get in is with the Pelagonis. Obviously, if you put turrets there, it is going to obviously kill, kill the Pelagonis and stuff if people are trying to raid this. Um, now I'm not saying that you can't tech rifle or anything like that, I've not tried that, but it's a high chance you can possibly obviously um, tech rifle and throw stuff through here. Um, so that's the only downfall. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's quite a big rat hole. Um, and obviously this bit where I was just looking then, uh, there will also be a separate method to get up there, that probably has to be a knockout method. Uh, it's probably not that useful though, um, because that's just like the back wall there. So yeah. Yeah, this is the rat hole anyway it's pretty op also i've actually got a discord server the link for that's actually in the description down below uh, if you actually like to join that it will help you a lot with um, glitches if you are struggling with glitches uh, you can also promote your youtube videos if you are based on our content and you can also promote your discord servers and um, arc servers uh, and there's also bots and stuff like that well thank you for watching if you could like and subscribe and